Hi there, Sophia here. As you can see, my bangs are getting really long and I'm in need of a trim. So I thought I would do today's video and show you exactly how I cut my own bangs. If your hair is really curly, I wouldn't suggest cutting them shorter than maybe like jaw length if you want to go with the side swept look because you can always blow them out straight. Uh, but if you go too short, you know, obviously when your hair is wet, um, it stretches out more, but then when it dries, it springs up. And that's why I'm going to show you on dry hair how I cut my bang. I always allow for a little bit of lift because when I dry my bangs, you know, I'm lifting at the root or pulling at the root. And, um, you know, I, I don't want them to be too short. I have a natural cowlick on this side and this side. So I just go from my two arches. I go up with my fingers, just grab that hair. So I'm going to pull that hair forward so you can see, you know, it's a nice big chunk of hair. Then I'm going to pull the sides back and out of the way. So I'm going to take my brush and just go down. And you see that my bangs are pretty long because I've included like the side pieces as well. Generally, you do like a little area here that's just like that. You can do far less. If you want less bangs, you can come a little closer but you're pretty safe to go from one end to the other of your eyebrows where they arch. First I go up a little bit, trim, and then I go in and trim, you know, just to give it like a little bit of a jagged edge and then release it. Now that's ready. And now I'm going to fine tune the area around my face. So first, since I'm going to be parting on this side, now if you part on this side, you're going to do the opposite. I go in, I figure out where my, uh, here, that's pretty much where I do it. You don't have to have a straight part when you, when you style your hair, you can do one of those little jagged parts, zigzag, but just for the sake of cutting, we're going to do it straight today. Bring this forward and first I cut it at an angle. I go down. Now I've also Sometimes I do it with a razor. Today I'm going to do it with the scissors because not everybody has a razor. Just bring it that way. I'm just going at an angle. Then I bring it out. I take it and then I go in here and I go down because that thins it a bit. And with that, I know that I'm going to get like a nice little kind of feathery look to it. So that's all I'm going to take off of there. The length that I usually aim for is right below my lashes, not too much shorter. All right, so this side is ready. As you see, I didn't trim that much, but it already lifted it up quite a bit and away. And now I'm gonna go to this side. I just happen to have a lot of layering in here because I do like height, but if you prefer to have all of this in the length of your hair, then you know, just pull it back and just do your bangs. But I'm gonna go for all of it today. So I'm going to first make sure that this is angled nicely going down. So I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. It goes across and bring in this side. All fits in together. There. Now that's angled going down. When I release my hair, it's all going to flow in together. But the nice thing about this is if you want to wear, if I want to wear my hair up, I can just pull everything up, you know, push, pull this back and just leave this side sweat bang so my face doesn't look so naked, but long enough to be able to pin back. All right, I'm going to go in here and separate this. So now I'm taking this back. And now I'm going to concentrate on just the fringe around my eyes. All right. Now I got that going. So now pull this out and again, do the same thing. Take the scissors and go down into it. So that is creating like a little feathery fringe. If you prefer, you can always go up into it. Now I'm going to meld these two together, these two sides, this one and this one. This is always just a little bit longer, but just in case my bangs get ruffled, then I know that, you know, whatever's falling on my face is kind of going to blend together. I won't have this long piece and then some shorter. So I think that's just about the length I want. You see, I only took just a little bit off, maybe a quarter of an inch. Now I can release 
and just uh, of course wash my bangs and you know blow them out uh, one tip if you have cowlicks and you want to avoid you know like that immediate parting on I'm drying it is I will go against the grain of the hair if I have a cowlick this way I take the blow dryer I hold my brush and I start drying that way that's just for your bangs if you want them to lie flat on your face when that's done then I flip them over and take the brush and then just start combing down and against um, you know in the other direction and drying them so that they're lying flat on my face that is the way I cut my side sweat bangs. I think side sweat bangs look pretty good on most everybody. They actually will slim down your face. They'll draw emphasis to your eyes and they also draw the emphasis away from any lines you might have in your forehead. So you can kind of hide them. You can always have a little fringe side sweat bang going. And you know, again, you can style your hair up, you can put it back and always have just a little bit of something framing your face. I hope you enjoyed this video and please leave comments below if you want to see any other type of hair tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Bye now.